And then we're gonna save up right now for the Doombringer with our next charge. Um, I will make one more guy here just to not lose the charge. We will make one more worker here too. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. No, I can't make one more. Okay, and now everything gets re-rallied over there. Um, 100, 150, coming right up. Pretty good. Just need to charge. Good. You go and hold position over there. We are gonna run over there. Drop off in his natural. Good. So I didn't even really try to commit that much though with the dogs. I guess the dogs are really quite good at grabbing the entire map and getting all those resources going, but... Re-rallying right now to gas. Very quick reaction. Very quick reaction. Okay, good. Hello, you are on hold position, sir. What's this? A hangar bay. Okay. Gonna have to bring my guys back home. Because that is very dangerous. I'll start working on the trees over here. So we aim for another expansion here eventually. But I'm gonna need some gaunts here as far as anti-air goes. And obviously we're gonna have to protect our base. I don't really know exactly how many I'm gonna need. But we'll keep making workers here. This guy seems to know exactly what he's doing. He seems very good. He seems to have a plan, you know? That already goes a very long way. Um, so he actually is not really harassing much though, so I expected the dogs to harass me and then I expected those flying things to harass me, but he's not doing it with either. Which surprises me a bit. I thought that that was surely gonna be the go-to. There they are. Uh, can you go ahead and patrol maybe over here so I can see if he's close to my base because there's no sensor tower or anything like that And my army is relatively slow. So if I could see it on the minimap, that would be awesome um, My shadow cleft is almost done. That's gonna allow me some higher tier units The higher tier units are very strong Okay Yeah, so he made Mutas and then he didn't harass with them. That seems like a misplay to me. I still feel like he's going to be attacking me here soon. Basically Mutas. My whole position worked against me. Did I lose my dropship? No. Nope. Ok, 
Okay, let's get the sundering thing, whatever it's called. Okay. And I think this is about the time where I start adding on additional production structures. I'm gonna make them over here this time. Gonna kill the trees, because we hate nature. Okay. Finish the saturation over there. Okay, so main base is properly saturated. Oh, whoa, whoa. Are in Your command. I got the upgrades that I need. I could make shadow flyers, I guess. But I'm not convinced that I need them. I think I'm gonna go for a move out. Because I have a very scary army here. Again, I'm gonna be loading my Kodos inside of the plane. You guys are hotkey too. Oh, okay. That's my Kodo's gun. Okay, nice. We got promoted again. I got a bit greedy right there by my chompers. Good targeting by him, but I should have stayed out of range. I should have also had at least two, at least one additional Kodo. Like having all your Kodos in the prism seems like a bad idea. Yeah, I've been target firing today with my, hell with my Hellborn. So that's, that's these guys over here. Um, target firing with them is very good. Actually, today I... So yesterday I made Hellborn, but I only made like two in my army. And today I've been making upwards of like five. And they are insane, dude. But you do have to manually target with them. So by default, they will target whatever is closest by. And you kind of want to hit that clump of bio that's kiting, you know? I think they probably need to split up and like micro their units in different packs, but that's not what they're doing. I think you can probably micro against those Hellborn a lot better. Kind of like Disruptors? A little bit like Disruptors, yeah. Wait, have I won four games in a row? Have I really? I didn't even realize. Uh, game definitely does look promising. Yep, I'm having a good time. But by missing tier 3 units, there's a bunch of bugs in the game. Really, only one of the maps is good. Um, obviously, there's a third faction that's not added yet. At least that's what the word on the street has it. Um, you know, there's like a lot of stuff that still needs to be added. Yeah. But I mean, there's a good chance that a lot of those things are internally already like... ...very close to finishing, you know? 
They're not quite yet at the phase though where everything is about polishing, but yeah. Thank you very much, Silex, for the 53 months. You backed zero space? Yeah, I backed zero space and I also backed Stormgate. Wait, I'm rank 195? Oh no, the guy that... In the, wait, what was the guy in the previous game? Um... Stormgate leaderboards. Let's see. The guy in the previous game seemed like he knew what he was doing. I actually... Felt like he was pretty strong. At least it felt like he was good. I don't know. No, apparently he was unranked. But it also shows me as unranked, which is also a bit weird. I don't know how accurate this website is. Oh yeah, the key OP guy that I played in the previous game. Not the, not the previous one, but the previous previous one. So, you know, you could also call that two games ago. Uh, he was apparently ranked 195. Ah, I see, I see. So what is the MMR of like these, like, higher ranked guys? So his MMR is 1,724, and that makes him rank 195. My MMR is 1,737, and that does not put me in the top 1,000? What? How can he be rank 1-1? One, one? Or am I getting the points and the uh, MMR confused again? Uh, again. Ah, okay. So basically... Yeah, the ranking definitely is messy. Basically, I just need to play more games. Because at some point, I think these will be kind of similar to one another. Like, the points and the MMR will probably be mostly the same. MMR is a semi-hidden background stat? No, it's right over here. It's right over here, below my, my points. No, my MMR is 1,737. I find it very confusing. There's a lot of people that have tried pointing out advantages to having a point system compared to just MMR. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> but it's okay. I think what you probably want to do is hide the points and just do like a progress bar to show you how close you are to the next league. So say right now I'm Platinum 3, show me a little bar how close I am to like Platinum 2, and then just show MMR. Cause like, just from the few brief conversations we've had about this on stream, it's already very confusing, you know? Like, when we discuss this, half the people are talking about points, the other half are talking about MMR, it's all a bit weird. Because I think the reason they have points is to try and not discourage people that, like, you know, get really salty from losing to play another game. I think that's the idea, so... If they do the same thing as in StarCraft 2, where you can never be demoted from a league, you can only ever be promoted. A bar would make a lot of sense, and then the points can just be a visual indicator instead. So when people discuss points, you would discuss MMR. But I guess in this game, you can lose leagues, right? Like, I'm assuming if I lose a bunch of games in a row, I can go back to gold? Maybe it resets every season? I don't know. It's extremely hard to lose leagues below diamond? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. You'd really have to try. Watch me, though. I think I can manage. Similar to League, you can... Do okay, so League of Legends, you can be demoted if you lose, and your MMR can be wildly different from your actual League. Right. So you can get demoted in League of Legends? So in StarCraft 2, once you get, like, say, say for example, you reach Diamond 3, 
and then you lose the next 20 games, you will never be going back to Platinum until the next season rolls around where your league gets reset. Because in the background, your MMR obviously did go down. You have one to two safety games, and then you're kicked out? Ah, okay. And that's when people flame their teammate extra hard, right? That's beautiful, man. <laughs> like you're in your final demotion game in League of Legends? That's when people get really toxic. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But I saw that when you first make a Riot account for League of Legends, you have to agree to a few terms of service. And in the terms of service, it says that you have to always be fair to your teammates and that you got to try your best in winning the game and that you can't just go AFK. So, like, you have to agree to those terms before you can make an account. So you're saying to me that people, despite agreeing to those rules... They are still salty in game? But how can that be? You have to agree to not being upset at your teammates. How can you possibly be upset at your teammates when you, you can't be? People get banned and make new accounts all the time. I'm new to the internet. What does this button do? Okay. What's up, special? Look well. Spe Yalshk. How are you, man? I tried to mispronounce your name too. It was tough. Lows. What's going on, Teradani? Yeah, sound effects. Sound effects are definitely lacking in this game at the moment. I want my units to scream bloody murder as they kill the opponents. You know. That's what we want to hear. Whenever we see one of those Vanguard Exos die, we want to hear them scream. I want to hear them beg for mercy as I come in with my Kodos and we stomp them to death. Yeah. <laughs> like in a big battle. It is just... It's crazy, man. We're up against Rodzin. I'm gonna go for a fast expend again. It barely worked last time I did it, so it's probably not a good build. Yeah, Rotzen, the name the name rings a bell, but I'm not sure why. Do you think I can expand before I make a pig farm? I don't know. This seems pretty dumb. Loki, you can do anything your little heart tells you? Aw. Thanks, Mom. Mom told me I can do it. And my mom never lies, Chet. I'm gonna make a big boy tower. My mom would be proud of that. Okay. That's a very fast expo. Need more 
Um, I don't really have to rush building Gaunts here. I can make them right now if I want to, but we can have three charges of them available anyways. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and build up my Iron Vault. In case my opponent decides to get cheeky with a push. Dude, this is a very greedy start. I still don't have any units. Then we make a pig farm. We'll build it over here. Okay, we'll build it over here. And then we produce units. All right, getting away with murder here. I think. Maybe I'm not. No idea what my opponent is up to, though. Maybe this is good, actually. Because it's lining up quite nicely. Yeah, I have a wall off over here. I can hold this door with one brute. So I can see on the minimap if he's hunting any of the objective points. And so far he's taken mine over there, but nothing all too crazy. I actually think that's very clever, because that's the move I was going to be making a... Okay, he's taking my he's taking my vision camp just now, and he's taking the bases and the stuff in the middle. I think I'm okay to go after Bambi. Because he is probably gonna just take all of the stuff on the map. It's a bit risky because if he shows up right now, I'm screwed. That was actually way closer than I thought it was going to be. Okay, we should have taken one additional unit. I'm going to tech up. Re-rally to my natural. We've got five on gas right now, so main base is done. He didn't take the other watchtower, which is weird. Okay. Gotta go ahead and make a Doombringer. I'm going to be flying that one towards his main. Going to start working on the trees early this time around, because I don't think it really matters if I position my tower like this. If he fights from the front or further back, I don't think it really has that much impact. Okay. Good. This is greedy. This is a very greedy base. Thing is, he's scared right now about my dropship, and I think I can get away with it. I'm gonna go out and build my Shadow Cleft. Not enough luminites. Okay, he's taking the third base as well. So even though I thought I was being greedy, he apparently is also greedy. Greed is good, man. I thought it was one of the cardinal sins or something. I don't really know. Gluttony is good too, right? What about murder? How do you feel about murder, chat? This was a trick question. Murder's bad. Gonna prepare some extra dudes. Murder is not a cardinal sin. Oh, okay. I don't really follow the rules, I don't know. Okay. Gonna go ahead and get the trample ability. And now we're gonna make as many Magmadons as possible. We're gonna do some trampling. Some trampolining. Okay. 
Really? Oh, okay. I thought he was attacking me for a second. I'm like, bro, you came to the wrong neighborhood, mother lo lover. Motherfucker. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Summer days. Da 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 da. Da da da. Thank you, Rastu. Appreciate you. Come on. I want one more Magma Donut, and then we're gonna go for a little bit of an attack. Okay. Okay. Be nice if I didn't have so much money. Worker had enough damage output right there. It's this one, right? Yeah. Baited it out, but I'll try and fake a fight over here. We're actually moving our army over to the other side. Are we? Maybe not. Yeah, we are. Gonna get my dragon next. Uh, there we go. Very expensive unit, but very fast. And 
Very powerful. Okay. What? How did I do that? Oh, no. I lost my dragon and he still has his. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need to make a Twilight Spire, I think. I haven't really ever made one of those. I also want to make a ritual chamber for the upgrades. Need more luminites. Ready to kill. He's actually not harassing me at all. Players are not very harassy in this game at this level. I think this is a perfect oppor opportunity for him to harass me, right, with his dragon, but he just does not. Mostly just taking this, so if I want to grab the low ground here, I can relatively easily. Because that's a double gas right over there. I've never had that base up and running properly, because if they have the vision camp over there, it becomes pretty much impossible. Um, so I can make shadow flyers? I've never made those before. And I can upgrade them, right? Yes. No. I don't know how to upgrade them. I should still get that too, though. Okay, well, he sees my base right now. game. I'll get the flame end upgrade too, I guess. That would be nice here. 
I can go out and get a new dragon. As soon as I have the Luminite for it, anyways. That's the main problem at this point, man. I, uh, he may very well have that base taken. I'm gonna go ahead and scout. If he has that base taken, I actually have to go really quick. I actually have to go regardless. I don't think I can really sit back here. If he has that base taken... Yeah, he's taking it right now. Okay. We need to go. Um, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and use it one more time. Not enough luminite. He's got a second one. I think I just got murdered. Oh, lovely play by him. I'm not very good at using my top bar abilities. I should have used that defensive thing too. Um, that defensive overcharge tower thing is kind of sick. I, I never used that. Because he had that, like, I, I could have used that when I... First had to defend at home. I always get them tripped up, like the top bar abilities. I actually am gonna just load up a custom real quick, because in the middle of a game it's kind of difficult to read. Let's see. So this one is pointless, right? This one we never use. Summons an effigy at a target location that provides shroud. Nobody cares. Recharge. Okay, this one I use a lot. Yes. This one I started using today. After a three second delay, infests enemy units in the targeted area and reduces their vision. This one I need to use a lot more. Control V. Control C, Control V. Those are the ones we want to use. That's not that hard, guys. Control C, Control V. I have done that a million times before in my life. All right, that actually is a very easy way to remember, though. Control C, Control V. Control Z. No, no Control C. We got a copy paste. Yeah, the copy paste strategy. We'll try and refine that a little bit more tomorrow, I think. I think that's a good plan. Did we lose the last game? I did lose the last game, yeah. My opponent was good though, he knew what he was doing. I feel like I actually made a lot of progress today. Not to pat myself on the back all too much. But I feel like my opponent kind of knew what he was doing. <sighs> you have a stack overflow key? Ah, I see. Alright guys, I think that's gonna be it for me for today. Hope y'all enjoyed hanging out. Um, I'll, of course, be back again tomorrow, so I hope to see you then. I've already prepared a video for tomorrow, guys. You know what I'm gonna do tomorrow morning? I'm gonna do a little bit of Warhammer painting. Like a proper nerd. Ay, 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 ay. Is that even allowed? I don't even know. Just... Are you even allowed to start that when you're in your 30s? I'm not sure. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, very fun ladder session today, though. I think I did about... Well, you know... Not six hours of straight playing, but we did do a good amount of hours today, which is uh, always a lot of fun. Yeah. Will we see images? If it's not absolutely god-awful. If it is pretty ugly and I don't want to share, I may not share, but I don't really have a lot of shame. So, we should probably be good. You saw the post on the Toby and Milo account? What did she post? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a really sweet photograph. That's rough. I didn't realize she posted that. 
Yeah, that's Loran's mom. She she passed away last year. 61 months of crafting stars. Exactly uh, a year ago as of yesterday. So it's been a very tough week. So yesterday they did qualifiers for the StarCraft 2 pros from I am Katowice for a Stormgate tournament. Yeah, they, they, they played that yesterday. So this is the EGC TV. The EGC Stormgate Open. Um, from what I understand, Dark had absolutely no clue about what the game was all about. Because Dark went 0 and 10, I think. So he lost literally all games. <laughs> Which I think is kind of funny. Because the way that this goes, right, is you like reach out to somebody like Dark and like, Dark, $10,000 on the line. You want to play? And he's like, everybody's going to suck at this game. Let's go. <clears throat> Anyways. Um, turns out the guys that did participate were pretty decent. So I want to focus a little bit, I think, on the Vanguard. From what I understand, so if you look at the current ratings, here, uh, what's it called? Stormgate. Um, or like, what is, it, what is it called? Rankings? There's like a website that does the leaderboards. Yeah, here we go. Elazer is currently the number four in the world, apparently, with an 83% win rate, playing with the Infernals. I kind of like playing with the Infernals. I do want to play older races, whatever this game is going to be like. But I think, yeah, maybe copying some of the... Elazer versus Dark was particularly sad. Yeah, but that may be one of the best games to, like, focus on, though. Do you remember at which point in the broadcast Elazer got murdered, or Dark Rudder got murdered by... Elazer? Because I would like to go ahead and check that out. Because that's probably going to give me the best indicator of how to play a clean early game, or at least how to, like, have something somewhat efficient. Because so far, I've just been winging it. Uh, I don't see Dark here at all. It was a best of three that was seven minutes long. Oh, God. Uh, Probe going up against Dark. Clem murdering Dark. Probe versus Kalazur. After the Roddy raid, Wardy and ZG were casting. Oh, okay. That's the second half of the day, I think. It's just a really short time frame. Yeah, so I have played a bunch of games at this point, but I haven't looked up any strategies. And I, I could still definitely climb playing my own shitty builds, but I feel like it's slowing me down a little bit, you know? Looking at like three like pro games may be a good idea. Okay, we'll look at this one first. I have to look at both matchups. I'm assuming I'm assuming Kalazor is gonna dumpster Dark. Um, mostly just because Kalazor is very good, and Dark apparently hadn't played the game. My own shitty games have been a lot of fun. Yeah, I've been going for drops with the Magmadons, which has been an absolute blast. And then I realized, wait a second, why drop Magmadons when you can drop Gaunts, which seems to work ten times better and much earlier on into the game. Try and give him some uh, some hope. And some I don't know if I'm gonna listen with commentary though. I think I'm gonna play some Stormgate music in the background. Yeah, so the Gaunts basically when they kill something, they spawn a little fiend, like a little dude, and that is pretty sick. I'll I'll play some Stormgate music in the background on repeat. Uh, let me see. So it's gonna be kind of difficult to write down the strategies because this interface is incredibly lacking. Like there's no production tab, there's no indicator of anything. Kalazor going for what? Oh my god, is this cheese? Okay, the man is proxying something in the middle of the map. It's 6 hours 52, so it's probably after this series then, Rex. Okay, okay. Funnily enough, this is not cheese. Is it not probe? Really? Okay. I heard you're pretty dang good at a game too, right? I was watching your stream a little earlier. You seem to have a much better understanding of what was going on than me, at least. So 
So I want to look at the player in red. So do they start with a straight split of one guy on gas and the other ones on gold? Maybe that's the plan. The worker split is kind of bad. Um, what I've been doing has been kind of bad. So like I've been approaching it in a StarCraft way. In StarCraft, you always saturate your minerals before you take gases. And I figured it would be similar in this game, especially because the stuff enriches over time. And you get twice as much. So it would make sense that you don't want to take your gas early on. And instead, you just want to focus on... You know, getting the minerals in. But apparently that's not what people do. Yeah, gaunts are, gaunts are apparently pretty insane. 9 and 10 aren't as efficient on Luminite. Is that why? Okay. So he does move full into... No, he's going 2 and 2. Okay. Okay, two on gas. Or was he doing that on purpose to get the two guns out ASAP? Oh, he's actually just going for that, that camp ASAP. Yeah, yeah, that's the goal. That's, uh, I was gonna say, that's an iron fold. I've been doing this whilst building my natural expansion wall off, which seems to work just fine, but... That trick right there gets them on the outside. So, workers that are on the outside mine more efficiently from the gold mine than workers in the middle. That's super annoying and seems counterintuitive because they have a longer road to walk. Oh, because they start stacking two to three? I see. So, I guess the first ten would be efficient and then the last two are kind of annoying. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So three on the outside makes the most sense. Like, what's the best platform to subscribe to make sure that... <laughs> uh, both YouTube and Twitch take a 70-30 cut. Patreon takes a 5% cut. So Patreon is technically the most efficient way to support the channel. Um... But obviously there's benefits to being a YouTube subscriber or being a Twitch subscriber or whatever. Honestly, just watching the content already is enough for me, man, but... Yeah, there's also, I guess you could do PayPal donations or something like that. That is a very small cut. I think that's like a 2.7% cut plus a 35% per transaction. That's what I want to say, but... Or 35 cents rather per transaction, something like that. But you get a lot of cool benefits for being a sub, right? So he's literally just rushing with the very first units that he's got. Okay, maybe this isn't that exciting of a series after all, guys. <laughs> Basically, he took the speed camp and then decided, okay, time to go. Yeah. None of the Dark Series are exciting, he gets owned. Well, I'm not here for excitement, I'm here to learn what is hopefully a decent strategy, a decent build. So I figured one-sided games may be quite efficient. Okay. So Kalazur once again playing in blue. He's going for the close to home Gaunt production and the far away what are they called? Brute production. Okay, fair. The speed camps were five goats in the previous patch? Ah, okay. It's three now, right? That's the first time I've seen somebody make use of the speed camp effectively, though. Speed camp seems kind of shit. Go down, foe. Maybe the speed camp is OP, I don't know. But at least I've not really made any use of it. Oh, you don't bother getting the camp? 
Because if you get it... Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Like, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to take the camp because it just shows that you took it. So it's just for the fiends. Mm. Yeah, makes sense. That's so silly, though. Okay. That's actually quite clever. I haven't seen anybody take the camps with a tower like that before. Huh. Colosaur is using the entire map. That's kind of cool. The entire map is his main base. He does take the vision camp. At this point, Dark is scouting. But, yeah. Ah, that is actually a really nice position for that tower. Because that helps in loads of ways. So the problem is that this map is currently not on the ladder. So learning any strategies for this map is kind of pointless. But it's still kind of cool to see. Yeah, these are both these are both StarCraft players. Yeah, I don't think the, the camps are going to remain like this. It doesn't make any sense. I think it's very hard to, like, judge how good a camp really is, you know? Especially as an observer, like, as a, as a casual viewer. Like, you see these guys fighting over a camp, but it's kind of meaningless. What's going on, Thort? Hello, hello. What's going on, OMG Ruffle XD? What a great name. 